in this uh, outdoor contest we're going to have until the end of the year. So I decided to build a three-wheeled vehicle. Uh, and for wheels, uh, I managed to get a hold of two, uh, two little bicycles. And so I have three wheels. Uh, one was a girl's bike and one was a boy's bike. So I got a black and a white tire. Uh, the one has a purple it, rim, I see. I guess that. <laughs> it, it's heavier than I'd like. I built it out of basically quarter inch plywood. And as a matter of fact, I used three feet of plywood, four feet wide, uh, to build this thing. I've got a single wheel in the back that's being driven by the gearbox that Ron gave me. I believe he said it came off of a Barbie. Barbie power wheel. Power wheel or something. Yeah. And, and the front wheels uh, are steerable. And it's more or less an Ackerman approach in that uh, when, I, when I turn one wheel, one turns more than the other. And right now, I've got a potentiometer linked to it, but I haven't coded, put it in the code yet. So right now, all I do when I drive the steering is I control the speed of the motor, not the position of the wheels. I don't know whether you can tell that this inner wheel is turned at a bigger angle than the outer wheel. So what is your turning circle? Do you have an idea? Well, if you aim this axle, so it's turning about a point about right there. Okay. Uh, because the wheels, if you if yeah, you extend the straight. rear axle and the front axle where they cross, is the steering turning. And fast under, under low, but uh, on a flat surface, it does pretty good. Uh, obviously, it's a project in work. I'm kind of left the top open until I decide where I'm going to put everything. Right now, I'm running on a small RC car battery, and that doesn't run very long, and I've seen indications that it's bogging down when you put much load on the wheel, so I bought a 8-amp gel cell and I'm going to put in it. Uh, this is a best controller from the best uh, RC that they used to use a couple years ago. I guess that's about all I can say. I've got to figure out how to program it better. Uh, I guess that's it. Any questions? Okay. So there is a, okay. You have a, a steering motor and a, and a gearbox. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's, I'm, the, I'm, what's the electronics box next to the battery block? This? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yellow. This big one. The brain. What is that? Yeah. That several years ago, the best robotics, which stands for. It's a, it's, a, it's a organization that uh, encourages high school students in technology, mm -hmm. and they have a robot contest every yeah. year. Yeah. And for a, about two or three years, they used the RC transmitter and, and this best, uh, this oh. brain. Oh, okay. And it's got two uh, TI, uh, M, what is it, MSP4, 30149 yeah. oh. microprocessors in it. And one of them is for the low level control, and you can't program it, it's just there. And the other one uh, accepts the student programming. Hmm. And this brain, it will drive four motors in six servos. And it has you can either input the C 
signal from the transmitter through the art through the receiver or you can use a buddy box card or tether and run it without RF mm -hmm. and you've got eight digital inputs for switches uh, I guess that's that's it can you uh, you got a big servo for the steering? Well, that's the problem. It's not a servo. It's just a, a geared down motor. Mm -hmm. It's a gear motor. That's all okay. going. Oh, I see. There's two. Yep. The best had two sides of motors. There was this one, a big one motor, and a small motor. And I do have potentiometry. If you look in there, you can see it. Uh, see it right yeah yeah, 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 now I see it. Yep. Okay. Yep. That, there's a potentiometer in there that's linked to the, to the steering. <laughs> and of course, what I need to do is close the loop yeah. and get myself a position servo. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly how to program that in there uh, yet. Uh, what I'm, I, right now, it, you can input either through the, through the receiver or through the tether card and you don't have to change the program. It automatically knows which one it can use. I'm going to try to break it apart so I can put in both the RF from, from the receiver and also from the tether card. And what I've done is taken an RC transmitter and taken, it, taken the board out of it. And so then I'm going to have four pots that will provide that signal. That's, by the way, if anybody wants one of them brains, I have a spare one, I think. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Way to go. Will. Great, Will. By the way, I think it weighs about 15 pounds. <laughs>